Welcome to the world of kickboxing as Glory Sports International descends on the Hampton Roads for the first time. For the past two weeks, these finely tuned athletes have been training at Olympus Fitness in Marshall Arts in Virginia Beach and for preparation for their Friday night fight. This is just a uh, relaxation, you know, showing the people what they can expect. And I'm all about the power, so I show them some power stuff, you know. But just, just is this nothing compared to 6th of February, what will, what will happen in the ring? For a few hours, the general public was able to see the league's premier kickboxers in the heavyweight division. In particular, challenger Errol the Bone Crusher Zimmerman and glory heavyweight world champ Rico Vorheven showed what they do best. Every fight has uh, almost the same preparation. Um, so it's from power training to conditioning to sparring, kickboxing, technique. But of course, every opponent is different. So tactics are different, but for the rest, everything's the same. Although kickboxing isn't on the same level as UFC and MMA fights in the United States, it's slowly becoming recognized as the next big thing. With an extra push from ex-boxing heavyweight champ Iron Mike Tyson, the league is definitely buzzing. Yeah, we're taking baby steps because I think uh, the comparison is yeah, too big right, at the moment because uh, the kickboxing sport is not so, yeah, it's not so big in, uh, in the U.S. just yet. But yeah, we're getting there. Just uh, give us some time, and uh, yeah, I hope uh, we can uh, compete with the UFC. It would be uh, it would be awesome. Build as Glory 19, the best of the best will be on display at the Hampton Coliseum this Friday evening, as high-flying kicks and hard-hitting knockouts will surely keep spectators wanting more. Knockout, big, big, big knockout power, man. That you will see from me. And if you hear the boom crusher, you know there is a KO coming, a big KO. That's my name, that's what I do. For the Daily Press, I'm Ricardo Major.